Hello, this is Joan Friedman. This program is All Ways, small a l l w a y s, a l l being for the Academy of Lifelong Learning at Cape Cod Community College on beautiful Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The mission of All Ways is to introduce an audience to our instructors, our curriculum our mission statement, and to broaden our, our group of, of students and instructors. Today, I have an instructor with me who I know because I took a course with him. Uh, his name is Joe Gonzalez, and his background is incredibly interesting. Also, the courses that he teaches are very interesting, and I'm going to let Joe speak with a little bit about his background, how he got involved with ALL, and the courses that he's teaching. So, Joe, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, yes. Um, hello. Um, as uh, my name is Joe Gonzalez, uh, and uh, I am a native Cuban. Uh, I came to this country in 1958. Uh, before I left. Cuba, I was a passionate film goer. My parents literally had to drag me out of the theater. And this, I think, was the birth of my love of film. And when I came here, I actually became a paper boy through roots in order to have money to go to all the movies I wanted to go. So that was, that was it for me. Um, actually, when the, um, my background was literary, mostly, and uh, I, st I have a BA in English from Rutgers, and, uh, and literature was my, uh, my desire, big desire at the time, and I went into publishing, magazine publishing, specifically one, uh, one uh, company that was very beneficial for me. It was called the Magazine Management, and they had different ma types of magazine, ladies and uh, Marvel Comics with Stan Lee was part of it. And they had very good people learning how to write commercially there, especially like Mario Puzo wrote The Godfather. In Mario his, Puzo, I've yeah. heard that name. <laughs> in, the, uh, in his lunch hour there. Uh, <laughs> Stan Lee, as I mentioned, was there. And a screenwriter by the name of Bruce J. Friedman, who has written many screens, uh, many uh, film scripts. So I was in heaven. I was in heaven, and what happened eventually is that um, the magazine took a different turn. Uh, it, it started to uh, go more into the, this was during when uh, pornography became very, very popular in the theaters and so on. And they started to sneak into the magazine, and I lost interest in that because that, that was not where I wanted to go. And luckily I had a therapist. <laughs> And uh, I said to her, I, I want to do something, but this is not it. I, you know, should I move on to another company or something like that? And she said, uh, what do we really want to go? I said, I would give my life to be in film. She said, why don't you do it? I said, I owe that at the college and all that sort of stuff. I don't want to go back to all that. She said, well, want it or not. So I, uh, I did. What I did is uh, I started looking around, and I met a pair of crazy Cubans who had just finished the film, and uh, El Super, which was getting very, uh, very uh, much interested. And uh, they said to me, well, uh, we need somebody to write, since my background was in English, um, a press kit. And I did. And that opened the doors. I started working with them in commercials. They had a commercial company and so on. And that led from one job to the next, to the next, to the next. And that's how I uh, got into film. Um, and then I had to decide what I wanted to do in film. And it seemed very perfect for me to go from uh, writing to script supervising, which is a job on the set where there's a script supervisor next to the camera and the director. And as they shoot the scene, uh, he or she writes the information down for the editor 
and those notes go directly to the editor who uses them to put the film together. And she or he, I'm saying she because at, at, at first there were many women in that category. Um, and some of them became directors. And um, the dialogue has to be said correctly in the script. If there's any deviation, it has to be noted down and so on, uh, so that the editor knows what's going on and eventually puts the scene together and uh, creates a print for the directors to view the next day in the day, what we call the dailies. See the dailies every morning, making sure before we move into another location that we finish with that, or else do we have to stay? Okay, so that's the job of script supervisor uh, and keeping track of lenses used and, and, and so on. It's very nerve wracking. I think it's very interesting. <laughs> Um, I have a very um, tiny background in editing and know that it can be um, incredibly difficult. There are so many things that come into it um, that watching a film and, and you think that it's all about what's in front of you, staging and actors know that everything that's behind it um, and so much uh, credit needs to go to the writers and the editors um, that um, uh, you know, I'm coming I'm coming to fully appreciate that now. So uh, you know so that, so that what you're saying is very, very interesting to me. It's a, it's, it's a group effort. I mean everybody has to be doing the best they can uh, in order to and of course you know there are always difficulties in a set in personalities involved and so on. Well, um, I, I became very successful uh, in in that position, and uh, but I also wanted to write. And with these two guys, that I'll mention the names, Leonie Jasso and Manuel Arce, uh, uh, gave me the opportunity of writing a few scripts with them. And one was actually produced, uh, Fat Chance it was called. And uh, that's the name here, and uh, because it was directed by Leon, uh, Leonis Chasso and a director from uh, Spain who was very, very successful in Spain and wanted to do a film in English, but he wasn't fluent. So they both collaborated in the film. And uh, was that was that the film Fat Chance? Yes, Fat Chance. Uh, and the film was okay. It uh, you know it's it, it's not going to be at the Oscar or was at the Oscars. But I was very proud of it. It was my first big effort. And then we continued to write scripts. And my favorite moment in the whole my film career came when we were writing a script. Uh, it was called A Short Vacation. And, Para and Universal was interested in it. And so we went to Hollywood. And uh, we met with them. Uh, and they were interested to continue with the script. But they have the Alfred Scott Theater there, my hero. Oh, another name I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we watched the film. They, you know, they said, would you want to watch a film there? And I said, oh, yeah. You know, and that was incredible for me it, it, to be there and, uh, and, you know, and sort of smell the air or whatever it is that you do. Uh, it was a great experience, so I'm very grateful for that. And my dream was coming true. You know, I was actually now a working person in the film business, and I continued to making other films and working with. I got to meet a lot of, you know, people in the business, name people, and uh, uh, some of them I enjoyed, and some I didn't. I'm not going to name the ones that I didn't. <laughs> uh, but uh, it was a learning experience. Uh, another, you know, big experience for me was working on Do the Right Thing, uh, Spike Lee. Oh, my. Uh, and that was my favorite job, I think, because it, it, it was not easy. But he's such a creative force, and I learned a lot more. Uh, and we got along. What was your role on that film, Joe? A script supervisor. I was still, still working still as a script, script supervisor, supervisor there. And uh, so um, I don't know how he even got to me. I can't remember how that happened. But I was very, very happy. And I got to work with uh, some 
Big names that uh, Professor Ozzy Davis, Samuel Jackson, Rosie Perez were in the film. And it was, as I said, it was, it, for me, my job is very tense. But I loved it. I loved every moment of the creativity and the people that I worked on. The so that was my, uh, my big influence. It's considered, believe it or not, uh, I, I, I always watched for lists. I'm a list watcher. And, uh, and there's an organization called the British Film Institute. And every 10 years, they send out a survey to um, um, uh, directors and writers in film and said, what do you think is the best film I've ever made? And then they create a list from that. And uh, Do the Right Thing is in the top 25. It's really knocked me off my seat because I think it's a good, good very good film, but uh, that it was received so well. Congratulations to well, you, <laughs> to you, and you know, to you and the whole team. <laughs> very, so, very exciting, Joe. Um, very, very exciting. Um, tell me a little bit about how you transitioned from Hollywood and California to Cape Cod. Well, um, what I get these things in my brain, in my brain, and then they just leave me. What was happening? All of a sudden, as I said, I have a BA in English. Uh, I, I wanted to write in Spanish stories. I'm always writing stories. I'm trying to finish a book of short stories. I got eight down and I got two to go, but I'm writing them in Spanish. And uh, since I came here as a child, English was my second language, but it's the one that I've received all my education in. So I wasn't as prepared to write in Spanish as, as, as I was in English. And I got into my head that I was going to do a master's in Spanish while I'm still working. And if I was doing movies, I couldn't do that because they take too much time. So I decided just to concentrate on short projects like commercials and little films and so on. And I got accepted to Rutgers for the Spanish master's program. Right. And I was working during the day and rushing at night over to Rutgers uh, and getting my master's, and I did. Uh, I went back to film, and I started back into the commercials, and um, one, I got a job that uh, was for a sunrise shot for a commercial, Red Mountain. I've told this story many times, uh, but um, they had to get the sunrise shot, so I had to be there very, very early. I had to get up at 1 a.m. to drive for about an hour or so. I'm a late sleeper. And I said, that's it. Uh, that's it. I'm getting out of commercials and so on. And uh, I retired. I retire, and now I'm trying to concentrate on the writing stories. My goodness, this is a lovely place to contemplate anything. Yeah. Uh, but contemplate writing, we seem to attract a lot of people that do that and want to do their memoirs. Um, but Joe, I know that um, I started to take your um, I believe 12, 12 directors, mm -hmm. and um, uh, that um, I I will um, uh, apologize in that I fell out of the schedule and that I was not able to catch up with the movies. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but could you tell us about about the course because um, it's um, one of the most popular that we have at ALL. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I'll tell you how I got to ALL is that I had approached uh, the Cape Cod Community College to teach there. And they said, when you get here, let me know. And the reason I'm here is because my partner, Daryl White, and, uh, who I met and in New York, uh, had a house here. And uh, we met and we started our relationship and he uh, came to New Jersey to be with me. He hated it. And uh, so I, uh, I said, well, if I retire, there's no reason why I should be here. And he had a house here, and I said, why not? It's been very tough for me because being in the New York City area and then the plateau here is somewhat quite different. It takes, it takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wanted to, to, uh, to 
teach specifically film and and share my love for it. I, I, so I really love film, and uh, and uh, so I approached them, and somehow I got hooked up with ALL. Someone found me wandering around and grabbed me and said, "Come with us." <laughs> And we do, uh, that. Huh? we do that. <laughs> yes. And uh, I would, uh, they took me in and I said, well, uh, this is what we do. And I said, okay, I'm very interested. And I went around. And uh, I took a course. I can't remember exactly, a couple of courses. And uh, I said, no, I like this. Uh, I like this very, very much. And I like what you're doing. And uh, I'll be ha- very happy to teach. And I suggest that I put in a proposal for a film, and uh, and it was accepted. And uh, I teach another course that I'm particularly proud of because it's called uh, How to Read a Movie. And um, How to Read a Movie is important to me because it teaches how an audience can get more out of a movie by learning how a movie is made, not the fine techniques and things like that, but how do uh, directors and cinematographers, costume designers, um, you know, contribute to the final effect of the film and how you can actually read that. It becomes a language, just like a book. You know, uh, somebody said something like, a shot is a shot and it's part of a scene. A scene is part of a sequence. I'm sorry. And uh, a sequence is part of the whole film. So there is a construction and acts as well. And I wanted to share that to see when people go to see a, a film, get a lot more out of it. So well, I would love to take that course mm-hmm. uh, because I also am a lover. I okay. uh, don't have um, any sort of a formal background in it. Just know I love that sitting in the theater watching that movie experience. Um, uh, I, I think that it's important uh, for our, our, our audience to know um, that all of our instructors are volunteers uh, and that I've been involved with other colleges and you know, ALLs in other colleges and that separates us at Cape Cod Community College. I believe um, the depth and the knowledge uh, and the caliber of our instructors um, that that come and just for the love of teaching, the love of the field, or the love of doing something different in life. Trained to be a nurse, but they always were interested in space and have the opportunity to to do that, to instruct in something different than their background is one of the reasons that I believe that ALL at Cape Cod Community College stands head and shoulders above other adult education programs in the area. Um, I wanted to let our audience know that um, our new catalog for our courses, and we are going to be having 73 courses, uh, should be out in August going to be, um, some of them are still on Zoom, some of them are going to be in person, and we are in the very near future to have some hybrid with both, so that um, that our our desire is to be able to to reach a student body that uh, is all over the country, not just at Cape Cod Community College. So uh, if anybody is interested in in contacting us, our address is lifelong learning at capecod.edu. Uh, if you just drop us a uh, a, a notice, we'll, um, put you on a mailing list. We'd we'll be very happy to put you on a mailing list and get our catalog off to you, which is digital, so that you can be able to get that as well. So I would like to thank Joe Gonzalez. And Joe, did you have something else you wanted to say? Yes, I just.